Hi again, let's start. Taking our paper watercolor paper 300 grams, okay, we fix it on a board. We can use a board to draw, paint everything. Remember, buy an MDF board or playbook board 3 millimeters of thickness. They are cheap. Don't buy a too large board. Uh, 50 centimeters length is enough. Buy now. It will uh, it will be very very useful to stick the paper to the board with painter's tape. You can get both at mail at, at malls, hardware stores, at pits at paint section. Where it is stuff to paint the house, there it is. We stick it carefully and we have now our prayer pair ready. And what now? I'll teach you some basic ways to paint with watercolor. The first one. I take a paper towel in my hand so I can drain. All water excesses. Here I uh, have water. I'm putting here. I drink water and take a little bit of paint, in this case blue. One watercolor advantage is even it been, even the paint is rice on the palette, adding water, they are useful again. You can use them with no problem at all. Now I'm going to take clean water. Clean water from the bowl. I wet another paper part where I'm going to paint. Well, it is wet. A ver, wet. Take a little more water and mix a bit of paint uh, blue. And I paint this way. I'm painting because you see how to do it. It is called wet on wet technique. Paint stays perfectly soft and uniform. It is used to represent faraway things, to make gradated skies, seas, etc. Uh, second technique. Wet on dry. Very diluted paint, paint with a lot of water over a dry surface. As you see, it gives more intense color. But it's difficult to soften and gives a little more texture. And now the third technique, dry on dry. Brass must be very drained. A bit of water to miss paint, very little, and the paper must be dry. Do you see the difference? It looks like uh, stripes. This technique is very useful to create textures. When we want something appears texture, like fields or clothes, etc. Uh, okay, these are the three basic techniques. There are a few more, but with this we can paint practically, practically everything. How to make a gradated? In other words, how to begin with one color and gradually dilute it? I take paint. Uh, this one. There are various ways to achieve it this uh, with wet on dry technique. I, ta I take paint. Give a stroke here. Then stops. Wet the brush. Paint a little. And next. Wet again. Drain and repeat. Wet, drain, continue. And we have a gradated. Other way to do it, wet the paper fully wet, wet with the brass. I take paint and and the same as before, we get we wet again, drain. Do you see? It is even more soft than this one. Two different ways to paint a gradated. Ways to mix paint. There are two ways to do it. First one, take water. Take a, li a little paint over a clean place on the palette. Rinse the brush on clean water and remove all the paint. And now we take the other one, yellow in this case, and mix. We have green now. 
This is one way to mix paint. The other way to mix is take paint of another color or the same and apply over the first. As you see, colors mixed. This is the principal watercolor feature. Colors are transparent. Therefore, what we apply over a color is going to affect it. They mix visually. How to soft an edge? Take clean water and apply softly over the edges of whatever. And wetness, and wetness will make the edge soften. It is the end. You see, see you next tutorial. Please, if you like, subscribe. Thank you.